my name is Chisomo Kachapira. I am a manager, choreographer, and team leader for Dumb Africa. Um, we have been on the Caravan of Hope 2023 and we visited a number of communities. Um, some communities had no water. Some communities had the problem of too much water, like flooding. Each and every single one of these communities are affected economically, socially, um, psychologically by the things that they're going on in regards to access to water. They shared with us their stories. We shared with them how our lifestyles are affecting the environment, how we can do things to change that. Um, and then at the end of that, we would have performances by Tamba Africa. And we saw that when we performed, um, they felt included, they felt considered that people were thinking about their level of happiness, their, you know, what it's like for them to go through everything that they're going through. And, and for us to share with them um, our, our art and them feeling considered brought the healing aspect to the Caravan of Hope everywhere that we went. So at Tampa Africa, we are a group of the young, talented artists from different communities who perform on one stage, abide by the same principles. Um, Tampa Africa, the word Tampa is a, it's a shona word which means dance. And Africa uh, is one of our principles that uh, we, we are abide by our intangible cultural heritage. And then the social part, it means storytelling and social intervention, and then circus, it's just a group of people who perform together on one stage. So, since we are um, into social intervention and intangible cultural heritage, this was like our moment to, to create a story, eh? to provide healing for the communities, to go and listen to their stories and use our art to amplify it so that people can, you know, see from an artistic perspective that uh, so this was what's happening and this is what we experienced. So it's more like us amplifying like the stories of the people who are affected by climate change to art. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we really enjoyed being in all the different communities and interacting with the people, getting the stories and absorbing them into our performance and trying our best to make sure that we do something that can kind of reflect the energy that we were getting from them. And we didn't want them to just be sad all the time because most of their stories were really difficult and hard, actually. And is inspiration. When we uh, go from different places and they dance with us, that's inspiring for them and for us. The inspiration to be better, the inspiration to do more, the inspiration to try, the inspiration to grow as a community and to also not hide their culture, not hide who they are, but to express it and to be proud of it and to know that who we are is a reflection of what we have around us. And what we have around us is very important. We have to take care of it. What we have around us builds us. So if we are destroying what we have around us, we're also going to be destroyed on the inside. So the, the healing aspect of art is appreciating what we have and being able to share it. And that, that is very healing. Because when you share it and you see how well received it is, um, then you see that this is something that should be appreciated, should be elevated, should be shared. When so many of us journeyed back to you after endless pain and suffering, you created the mountains as a fortress to protect us from danger. Munalenga mapiri, gadi chingo lodi zilete zakuzo piazina. But when I look to the mountains, they tell me a story. Gomani kanga na mapiri uku, diko nangani, diko mvangani. Against their will, they are to usher in a disaster which destroyed so many of us. 
Nkani mene ndi kuvayo ndi nkani yose sangalatsa nkani yo limbana kwambiri ndi khumbo latu Some of the faults lies with us Kuteka kuti mavuta ambiri kapena zola kuika zambiri zili mwaife There are so many things that we have done to our environment which are causing all those things to happen to us Bali zambiri mwina zimene peta chita zimene zaononga chilengedwe But you are the essence of hope and love We ask you to rain down the rain of healing and peace into our hearts in this place. So I'm asking you to make the rains of healing and peace into our hearts in this place. So I'm asking you to But there are so many of us left so many young innocent children left without parents to look up to. Ndipo sati kudziwa kuti alipo aife amene adatisiya kumapansi pano adasiya ana achitepere amene alipe pogwira. You said you are the fathers of the widows and you are the fathers of the orphans. I call up to you to look up to them. Mudane na kuti inu ndinu bambo wa mai amasiye Ndinu bambo ana amasi tukupe mpani tsono kuti mwayangane ndi maswa achifundo You have said that the birds do not harvest they do not plant but not a single day do they go hungry I ask you to shower your kindness upon us Ndabonetsa kuti mbalame sizilima komabe zimadya tukupe mpani tsono kuti ndi maswa ana achifundo mwayangane anthu amenewa
honestly saying, I think it's always an amazing experience to be part of the Caravan of Hope. Um, because um, as an artist, we usually don't have like these kind of opportunities whereby we can showcase our talents, whereby we can bring in change, um, um, whereby we can uh, contribute to everything that is happening around us. So I think um, uh, it's always an amazing experience. Uh, and uh, also talking about uh, like uh, the people which I'm working with, um, it has always been a great uh, family to me and uh, dealing a lot of uh, issues which is affecting people about climate uh, justice. It's also an, um, an achievement for me as an artist because um, this is uh, one of the ways uh, that uh, we as artists we need to uh, contribute to the world in uh, bringing change and or even bringing change, uh, hope to the people.